Hey guys, what's up? It is Pete Tansley here from PeteTansleyFitness.com and I want to share a bit of a story with you. Last night I was um, watching some Game of Thrones, as you do, season three, episode two, I won't give it away, and basically it hit me. I had that little voice inside my head that says, go on Pete, you deserve some sugar or a little treat. So I went to the fridge. I, I, I paused it. Um, I went to the fridge and what I felt like was a massive punnet of ice cream. You know, I could down one or two liters, um, six Krispy Kreme donuts, and I'd love a thin-based pizza uh, with a ton of meat, some good cheese, really, really hot. But here's what I had instead. Two eggs and a carrot. Do you want to know why? Because none of that crap was in my fridge. If it's there, it will be eaten. That's the number one you know, diet tip since a thousand years ago. If the food is in your ownership, then you're going to eat it eventually. Okay? It's, it's, you know, I don't care how disciplined you are. If those Tim Tams are in the fridge, there's going to be a day this week, this month, this year that your temptation is down, you've had a shitty day, and you're going to go for that one Tim Tam. And I don't know about you, but I'm not someone who can just have one Tim Tam. It's, I'm sort of an all or nothing guy. So I know for me, I, I, I have my cheat day, which I encourage you to do, where you, you, know, you have your one day a week where you eat your ice cream or donuts or pizza, whatever you feel like. But the very next day, you are back on track. And that's important that that night of the cheat meal, or once cheat meal's over, that food's got to go. You cannot keep it in your fridge or in your home. Don't tell yourself you'll be disciplined, um, because you, you've got to get rid of that stuff. Otherwise, it's gonna it's go, it's gonna be eaten um, either now or tomorrow or next week. So that's my number one tip. If it's there, it will be eaten. So the simple tip: don't have it there. Throw it out. Give it away. Give it to your neighbours. Make them fat uh, or sabotage their goals. But don't sabotage yours because you held on to that crap food. So there you have it. It's a simple tip, but very, very effective. Pete Tansley from PeteTansleyFitness.com. Check out down below. Uh, I've got a free report for you to check out and lots of good stuff to help you with your goals. Thank you.